so you know how I sort of said that you know looking at his background um, he you know he was kicked out of Russia in 2011 um, and he's he's written he's written books about I think his latest book was about the 2016 election in America um, and uh, the interfering the Russian interference in the American election which resulted in Trump getting elected this is the difficulty with things like this you could also look at it that actually he lived in Russia for a long time you know he's, he's written he's written books um, so you could actually argue that he's an he is somewhat of an expert in Russia and I guess Russian politics so um, It's only like three minutes long. Think about think about the video itself as its own historical record. Wouldn't that come what? under? Oh, yes. Keep going. Oh, that come under the point of view thing? Because if you're looking at the historical record of it, just say like we traveled to the future and looked at that, wouldn't that come under the point of view? Because wouldn't that be like a Western point of view or something? Yeah. All right. So. And again, this is one of the ways you, you want to look at evidence and, and the usefulness of evidence to a historian. Um, you can, you can, you know, and I talked about this last year with Schindler's List. What it, what it does tell us is how, how certain, certain, what would you call it? In certain, I don't know, in certain groups, this was how the war was portrayed. When George W. Bush came into power, there was already, when he came into power, there was already people on his staff saying, we need to get rid of Saddam Hussein. Because there was opportunities in Kuwait. So basically Saddam, well, one of the arguments is Saddam was preventing American investors from having access to Kuwait, uh, to Iraqi oil. And they had the second largest oil reserves in the world at that point.